Hello everyone, praise be to God today, and welcome back to the Bugs Life Action Game. Today we're learning about the birds and the bees, because we as a bug are going to defeat a bird in the bird nest. This is the last level in the riverbed world, and this is a significantly longer level than the boss level of the first world, but it's still pretty simple, and it's probably the easiest out of these free levels, so let's get started. 3, 2, 1, go. It's a buggy bug. Circle of life. Now let me tell you how things are supposed to be. The sun grows the food, the ants pick the food, the grasshoppers eat the food. And the birds eat the grasshoppers. Hey, like the one that nearly ate you? You remember? You remember? Oh, you should have seen it, okay? This blue jay, he has him halfway down his throat, okay? And Hopper, Hopper's kicking and screaming, okay? And I'm scared. Okay, I'm not going anywhere near, okay? Oh, come on! It's a great story, how? <laughs> well, that is not at all related to the part of the movie where this happens. Level 6, Bird Bait. Defeat the bird. So, yeah, um, the bird, which is, like, the most dangerous thing in the movie, it's the second boss. Yep, and we are actually going to beat it up as an ant, which is going to be pretty awesome. Let's get started. Yeah! This is going to be trouble. So, the bird's up there in the sky, but he's actually not going to bother us. I don't think he really does anything. This I can use. So, the real thing about this level is we're going to get introduced to the last of the blue plants. So, we have to go around and collect these blue tokens. So, we get the invincibility, followed by the health, and we're going to get all four of the blue tokens, which we haven't seen yet. <laughs> that is... A nice juicy worm. Is that supposed there. to be like a puddle, I think? Doesn't look very good. There are a lot of canyon beetles around. Nice one. They're not too bad. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Awesome Celtic music, though. I love that. I love Celtic music. So you go around, you pick up all these tokens, and we get the last of the blue plants. This is the Super Jump plant. It will spit out the spike balls that can damage you, but it will also spit out power-ups that increase your jumping height. I can't remember if it's just a temporary jump increase or if it's just permanent. But we're, that's what we're going to use to get up to the top of the level. So anyways, once we find the seed... Oh, come on, I'm too puny to eat. There we go. Come on. Bye bye, Bucky. Super jump. So now we can jump higher, and that's how we're gonna be able to get up to the top. And maybe this level's a whole lot smaller than I thought it was. The F is over there. No big deal. There are quite a few enemies though to defeat. I think there's like 21 enemies on this level. Nice. I don't know how I remember that number. Please don't ask. It's not like I played this game a lot. So you don't need the super jump to get up to this part, but you're gonna need it to get up higher. Gotta get to the top. Hi, little dragonfly. You're not upset that I destroyed all your brothers on the cliffside, are you? This level's quite a bit easier though than, though, than the last one, so it's it's a nice breather level. Yep. Boom. So the bird's just hanging out up here. Need more fairy power. And yeah, unfortunately, we can't actually. Oh, okay, so the bird actually will attack you. He'll try to fly into you. Not too bad, though. If you hang out at the bottom, he won't do anything. Okay. So I'm going to assume that the... Uh, what was I going to say? I'm going to assume that the super jump is permanent, at least until you die. So I'm going to make a health plant. Also... Well, we picked up there, I thought it was a brown token, but no, it's a yellow token. The yellow token is the last type of token we have uh, in the game. The, bird, right? the last one that we're going to see. It, like, it's kind of a mixture of the blue plant and the purple plant, where it basically makes a plant that will shoot powerful berries at enemies. So the level one yellow plant is going to make a plant that will shoot super berries uh, horizontally. So it can destroy enemies by shooting them with super berries. You can't actually pick up the super berries for your own power, though. So it's interesting. So if I, if I can get to the seed, then I'll be able to show it off. Ah, no. Okay, I don't. I don't know what's up there. I definitely push the jump button. That helps. Man, this game has great music, though. Holy cow! I just realized pretty much all the games I let's play have great music. Not sure if it's coincidence or if I subconsciously just like games that have good soundtrack. That was bizarre. Nice one. That, helps. that was as bizarre as the shop in Ocarina of Time in Hyrule Castle Town. Get it. Uh, 
All right, so the walls stick out more than you're expecting. Oh, come on! Super berry. Oh, yeah. Take that. There's a golden berry somewhere on the level. Obviously, there's one on like every level. Almost. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, up here. Get out of the way. Oh, there's only nine enemies. Oh, never mind. That's embarrassing. Alright, right, well, let's take out the cannon beetles. Oh, yeah, I'll show off. So, this will basically make a plant like this. That fires super berries out of there. And it actually destroyed an enemy, judging by the sound of Flick saying, Nice! Oh, yeah! And I believe the bird does count as an enemy that you need to take out. Oh, how did I not see this? Oh, what? That's really nice. How did I not see that? I must not have never been down this pathway. I'm not sure what you need that for. This is kind of a nice introduction to the super jump, which I think, unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure the super jump is only needed on this level. Like, I, it might be on one or two other levels, but I don't think you need it. I might be wrong. I've only played through this game, like, once. All the way. Once, maybe twice. So I believe there are two more dragonflies left, and then the bird. This I can use. So that's the level 2 yellow plant, and that's basically the only other yellow plant in the game. You don't actually get to be able to level up all the way to 4. This will basically fire mega homing berries upwards that will home in on enemies and shoot them out of the air. So that's what you're supposed to do to kill the bird. Alright, cool. Only enemy left is the bird. So I'm kind of curious, do we even need the level 2 yellow plant to shoot it out of the sky? Or can we literally just chuck golden berries at it from a distance? Because every other time I've played this level, I've always used the level 2 yellow plant to fire mega homing berries upwards, which will make it fly down lower, and then you can pelt it with gold berries really easily, but we might be able to do that even without it. Oh no, probably not. Yeah, bird's not cooperating. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, come on, I'm too puny to eat. <laughs> Flick said, oh, come on Gotta for me, because I, I pushed the jump button there, but it did not let me jump. That's annoying. All right, well, fine. We'll play it the way the game wants me to. There are no, no shortcuts. You got to press the jump button before you reach the edge of the platform, otherwise it'll just suck you off and they're like, no, you didn't push the jump button. You definitely didn't. All right. So we make this plant. It'll fire mega homing berries upwards at the bird. Oh, here we go. Bird's now flying into us. So we can just chuck the gold berries at it. And there we go. And apparently the bird despises gold berries, and he's just like, screw this, I'm out of here, and just flies off. So we don't actually kill the bird, we just scare it away. Still very impressive for an ant to do, though. Never too much grain. F L I K spells flick. That's me. Well, all right. All right, level complete. That actually is shorter than I remember it being. I didn't realize all the blue tokens were right there at the bottom, but all right. I'm cool with that, and we get a bonus movie clip, as always. Okay. And the flies are all like, oh yeah, he's getting burned alive! They're, they're total pyromaniacs, they also hate the guy. But don't worry, fleas are like indestructible, so he's a fine. Not shown in the movie clip, PT Flea survives. 
And next level is City Entrance, which is a very infamous level in the game. Possibly the most famous level in the game. And you're going to see why. It's, it's probably my favorite level, but it's also really, really difficult. This is where the game throws literally everything out the window. It's just like, nope, it's going to be really tough from now until the end of the game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time to see probably the best level in the game. Or this world is probably the best world in the game, but it's also just really hard. Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.